wonder if babies have bad dreams. She looks happy enough now. Have you not been sleeping well yourself, Brenda? You look a bit tired. Oh, no, it's just work, you know. Where's Dad this afternoon? Oh, he's practising his darts at the ball. <laughs> They've got a big match on this week. I see. Is that where Tom is? No, he's not in the team. Ah, oh, you two don't see enough of each other. Maybe. He must get quite jealous, the amount of time you spend round here. No, that isn't it. Uh, Vicky. Brenda! Oh, well, whatever's the matter, I was only joking here. Let me take Beth. There, there, sweet. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to upset her. You haven't. I didn't mean to upset you. Well, surely Tom doesn't really mind you coming to see Bethany. No, of course not. But the thing is, um, Vicky, we've split up. Brenda! Why? Lots of reasons. But basically, um, we just want very different things out of life. Are you sure all couples go through these rough patches? No, this isn't a patch. It got clearer and clearer to me that we were just going in different directions. You told him that? Yeah. It's the hardest thing I ever did. I thought at least it would be a relief to stop pretending, but it's... Oh, so hard, Vicky. It's so hard. Hope I'm not disturbing you. No, no. Where's Brenda? Gone to see Bethany. Oh. Well, I'm glad I found you on your own. We really need to talk. Do we? What about? The cows. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Sorry, Mum. Um, I should have got on with it. I know. <laughs> They're not going to sell themselves. Of course not. Have you rung the auctioneer? No, not yet. Why not? I just haven't got round to it. I will. Tom, this was all your idea. I know. I just don't understand. This is the single most important decision we've taken about Bridge Farm for years. I realise that. But you seem to have lost interest in it. I haven't, honestly. I've just been a bit... preoccupied. With what? How can anything be as important as this? Tom? Tom, what's the matter? I'm sorry. I can't... Oh, Tom, love, I'm... I'm sorry. What is it? It is important, Mum. Oh, yes, I can see. It must be. Well, come on, you can tell me. Brenda and me. We've split up. It's so difficult that we're both still living in the same house. Making polite conversation like strangers. Oh, I can imagine. We're in separate bedrooms now, but... Oh, there doesn't seem to be anywhere you can go without bumping into one another. No. Tom's house is so small. Tom's house? Yeah, that's what it feels like now. There's really no way back? No. It's over. Oh, Brenda. So I have to go. This is just... Torture. Oh, she could come here. Oh, Vicky, I wasn't hinting. Beth could come back in with us for a while, but there's not a bed in the nursery. That's the problem. Uh, I'm not going to turn Beth out of her nursery. I wouldn't dream of it. I suppose you could sleep on the settee. It's not very comfortable, though. Well, don't be silly. I'll find somewhere. No, Mike wouldn't like to think he can't come home. It's just not practical. He'll see that. This is really going to upset him. I know. He'll be back soon and... Then we can talk about how we can help you. I don't think I can face him. You'll only want to help. I know, but it was hard enough telling you. And Dad, he's known Tom all his life. Do you want me to tell him? You mustn't blame yourself. Who else is there to blame? Brenda can't help the way she feels. No, but this children thing... I know she said she didn't want them yet. Yes. I suppose I should have guessed then. Well, 
How could you? You saw how much she loved Bethany when she arrived. I thought that meant she was changing her mind. Well, of course you did. I wondered myself. I couldn't guess it would have quite the opposite effect. If it did. But she said that's what made her understand she didn't want children. Yeah, but... Well, I'm not sure I believe her. I'm sure she wouldn't say it lightly. Not even to let me down gently? Well, how do you mean? She said motherhood wasn't for her. Yes. And she said she didn't want to have children. Exactly, so... But maybe that wasn't exactly the truth. Maybe the truth was she, she just didn't want to have children with me. Oh, Tom. I failed her, Mum. I failed her in every possible way and now it's too late. Oh, Mum. What am I going to do? Oh, sweetheart, come here. It'll be all right. I promise you. It'll be all right. That's right, Georgie. You go outside and play with Kira. Okay. I'm sorry I'm a bit early bringing him back. That's all right. Georgie got a bit bored today. No, no. I, I wanted to tell you something. I, I thought this would be a good time. Oh, right. About George? Or... No, no. It's about me. I'm, um, well, I'm pregnant. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, congratulations. Thanks. Oh, we're very pleased. I'm sure you are. When's it due? Uh, early October. Oh. Oh, so you're, you're quite far along then. Oh, we only started to tell people at the end of last week. Oh, I see. My mum and, of course, Clary and Eddie. So they know? Yeah. Oh, they were thrilled. Oh, it was so sweet, especially Clary. Was she? Yeah, well, you know how she's about babies. Yeah, I do. I remember how excited she was when I told her I was expecting George, but then he was her first grandchild. Oh, so. oh you think this little one was going to be the way she was carrying on? Really? Of course, George is the reason we wanted to get on with telling you and Ed. So you can tell George? Yeah, yeah, we can't wait. Well, you mustn't expect him to be as delighted as everyone else seems to be. No. No, he wasn't exactly overjoyed when Kira came along. Oh, but he loves her now. Yeah, of course. Just saying. <sighs> oh, I had the same with Jake and Mia. Oh, don't worry, we'll be tactful. Well, let me know when you plan to do it, just in case I have to pick up the pieces. Honestly, Emma, I'll be careful. I don't want George to feel this means we love him any the less. I don't see it like that at all. No, I'm sure you don't. Just saying. In fact, quite the opposite. Well, one of the reasons me and Will are so pleased about the baby is that it means Jake and Mir and George will have a brother or sister in common. I suppose they will. Oh, look, it must have been just as lovely for you when Kira came along. Yeah. So we'll all be one big happy family. No wonder Clary's thrilled. So how are Vicky and Bethany? Fine. Fine. Good. I'll bet Bethany's growing now. Yeah, she is. Tom, I told Vicky. Oh, I see. Sorry. Just couldn't keep quiet about it any longer. No. And I've asked her to tell Dad. Right. I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry. I understand. Mum came round this afternoon and... Uh, you told her too? Yeah. Had she guessed something was wrong? No, no. She came about the cows. Oh, right. Though I suppose the fact that I wasn't totally obsessed with them might have been a bit of a giveaway. Oh, don't. There was something even more important. Maybe if I'd realised that sooner. Please, Tom, it wasn't just that. It didn't help. It was me too. You know it was. Well, we don't need to go over this again. I'm still trying to take it in. I've explained it as well as I can. Mum doesn't understand either. Not really. No. She's very cross with me. Of course not. She's just <sighs> bemused. I wouldn't blame her. No, I don't think I made a very good job of explaining it. It's hard. We're the only ones who really know what was going on. 
Except I didn't, Brenda. At least now our families know we don't have to keep talking about it. Well, not to them, but... At least that's over. No, no, it's just starting. We need to tell our friends, then it'll get round the village. That has to happen. We have to move on. To what? Uh, I don't know. But we can't do it while I'm still living here. Oh, Bren, please. No, we can't keep having these conversations. I'll I'll just keep quiet then. No, that's even worse. I've got to move out. It's time. I thought they was rock solid. I, I really thought they were made for each other. Well, maybe they were once, but people change. I'm not Tom. Oh, I mean, he's had his moments when he was younger, but now I'd... Oh, I thought he was the man to look after my Brenda. I really did. She knew you'd be upset about that. Oh, I'm more upset about her. For her to do this, things must have got really bad. Oh, I don't think it was like that exactly. She just gradually realised... But we didn't, did we? I mean, why didn't we see the signs? Well, maybe we've been too preoccupied with Bethany. I've been blaming myself for that. I just wish she'd told me herself. Well, if you'd been here instead of me, she would have. I suppose it doesn't really matter. The thing is, how can we help her now? She can't stay there, Mark. She says it's torture. Well, it must be for both of them. Yeah. I wish I could come here. So do I. I did say maybe Bethany could come in with us. Yeah. But she wouldn't hear of it. No, this place is just too small. Could have faced facts. Yeah. We can help her find somewhere to rent. She can't end up on her own in a flat somewhere. Not after what she's just been through. I agree, it's not ideal, but... She needs to be with her family at a time like this. But you just said... Well, she can stay with Roy and Ailey. Oh, that would be wonderful. I'll be just next door, so we can all keep an eye on her. Do you think they've got room? Well, more than we have, and... (laughs) When we tell them that, I'm sure they'll want to help. The girls won't mind sharing. Are you sure? Not even Phoebe? No. Not if it means she can have her favourite aunt on tap. (laughs) That's true. That'll be good for Brenda, too. Yeah. She loves spending time with them. I know. Which is why I can't understand this thing about children being an issue. I, I, I think Vicky must have got that wrong. Who knows what goes on between couples? Mm, clearly none of us in their case. Truth is, Brenda won't be able to think straight about anything until she's got out of number one. And you're sure you don't mind her coming to us? Of course not. It'll be more work for you. Moving Abby's things into Phoebe's room and making up the beds, I think I can manage. Yeah, not just that. Having Brenda there in the state she's in. That's exactly why I want her with us. So we can all keep an eye on her. Yeah... I'm more worried about you. Me? Why? Tom's your best friend. Aren't you going to find that difficult? No, no, Brenda's my sister. She comes first. Of course, but it might be a bit awkward if he wants to confide in you. (laughs) You didn't confide in me that things were going so badly between them. I don't think you noticed. I want Brenda to feel she can talk to us without thinking it might get back to Tom. She knows you better than that. Yeah, I'll make it clear to her where my loyalties lie. You sound a bit cross with him. A bit. It was Brenda who decided on the split. Yeah, maybe, but what did he do to drive her to it? You know it's more complicated than that. It'd upset Brenda to think it might affect your friendship with Tom. Oh, it's affected everything. Look how upset Dad was when he came round last night. Yeah. I mean, this has absolutely knocked him for six. He is very fond of Tom. Poor Dad. Roy, don't blame Tom. From the sound of it, he's in bits about this. I don't really. I suppose it's just a knee-jerk reaction and protecting my little sister. I do understand. But I think Brenda's reasons for leaving go pretty deep. It sounded like it, what Vicky said. Maybe you're right. What? That she'll be able to think more clearly when she's out of that house. I hope so. Anyway, how's your morning been? Oh, okay. Been a few objections to the sale of the land. Oh, dear. That's not that serious. Elizabeth knew there were bound to be some. I suppose so. People don't like change. Well, they'll have to lump it. The land's in the village envelope. 
not much they can do about it. So she's pressing ahead? Oh, yeah, yeah. She's getting quotations for the work on the old dairy and uh, Julian's going to find a back consultant to check it out. Mm. Ah, look, there's Lily and Freddie. Oh, oh, when are they back to school? Wednesday. Freddie's not keen. Yeah, and Lily can't wait. Uh, <laughs> to be fair, he seems pretty keen to start his tutoring with Ifty again. I don't know where that guy finds the time. What with the cricket training and all? Well, he's coming on Wednesday afternoon. This Wednesday? Yeah, I told you Freddie was keen. Well, that's odd. Elizabeth's got a meeting scheduled and she usually likes to be around. Maybe she forgot. Yeah, yeah. I'll mention it to her. Well, I meant to tell you, Josh is coming round to see me and Neil after school. It's something about the hens. Yeah, he probably wants a pay rise. Phoebe's always dropping hints. <laughs> Afternoon, Nick. Oh, hi, Clary. Nice to see you. Still waiting for the school bus? Yeah, it's late today. You on your way back from work? Yeah. Pat let me and Susan go early. That was nice of her. To be honest, I think she wanted to finish early herself. Oh, I see. <laughs> and mine just didn't seem to be on her work today. Still, I ain't complaining. Well, why don't you come back with us? Have a cup of tea? Oh, that'd be nice. Thank you. Of course, we haven't got George today. I never come just to see George. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, we'll be able to tell him about the baby next time we see him. Oh. I told Emma yesterday when I took him back. So we can go ahead with it now, she and Ed know. Good. Well, was she pleased? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You don't sound very sure. Well, she congratulated me, of course. But? Oh, to be honest, Clary, I, I did think she was a bit funny with me. Really? Maybe I was just imagining it. Oh, well, that's not like you. I thought we're getting on so much better these days, and... Well, I don't know why she wouldn't be pleased. No. Everyone's excited to hear a baby's on the way. Mm, she seemed surprised I was as pregnant as I am. Or well, maybe I should have told her sooner. You didn't tell us till the end of last week. Well, I explained that. I said how pleased you and Eddie were. Oh, we are. Oh, she's really upset you, hasn't she? Maybe I'm making a mountain out of a molehill, but I... Well, did she say something? Well, yeah. When I said it'd be nice for Jake and Mir and George to have a half-brother or sister in common... Oh, yeah, she said. One big happy family. Oh, did she? <sighs> I suppose that's why I've got so upset. Oh. Because if this new baby's going to make things difficult again, I don't oh, think I can... Could... Don't worry. I, I, I'm sure it won't. Oh, I hope not. You just took her by surprise. You think so? I'm sure. When Emma's had time to think about this properly, she'll be just as pleased as we all are. Oh, well, if you really can't make it, I suppose there's no more to be said. Yeah, bye, Daryl. Sorry about that, Hayley. Don't worry. Sounded urgent. Yeah, it is now. I don't know how Daryl can let us down like this. Is he doing some work for you? Oh, no, no, no. This is about the darts match tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Mike's been telling us about that. It's a big one, isn't it? Mm, yeah, it is. Doc and Drake are very good, and we're without Chris at the moment. And Daryl was his substitute? That was the idea. I asked him a couple of weeks ago. He promised me he'd be there tomorrow. Now he can't come? No, uh, something's come up. <laughs> Didn't even have the good manners to tell me what. Do you? It doesn't give you long to find someone. No, it doesn't. I suppose I could ask Ed. Oh, he's quite good, isn't he? Uh, not as good as Chris. Or Daryl, come to that. Anyway, it can't be helped. <laughs> it's only a game. <laughs> Don't let Mike hear you say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Have you got any idea what Josh wants to see us about? Uh, not a clue. <laughs> I tried to pump Phoebe, but she wasn't giving anything away. Hmm. I wonder if he wants to pack it in. That would make things easier for us, if we decided to sell. Oh, come in. Oh, hiya, Josh. Hi. Hi. Phoebe let you in? Yeah, she knew you'd be expecting me. Oh, yes. Yes, we're both quite intrigued. Setting up a formal meeting like this. Yeah. I thought it would be better if I explained my proposition to both of you at once. Oh, right. Yes, good idea. Do sit down. Thanks. Right. Uh, fire away, then. The thing is, well, I've heard from Phoebe that you might be thinking of selling the business. 
Have you? Oh, she really shouldn't have told you that. I didn't mean to get her into trouble. No, 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 it's just that nothing's been decided yet. No, it hasn't, which is why she shouldn't have mentioned it. But you are thinking about it. Yeah, well, we have discussed it, but, We're a uh, long way off reaching a decision. Hmm. Phoebe shouldn't have worried you. She hasn't. I wanted to see you because I wondered if you consider letting me buy it. You? How could you? Where, where, where would you find the money? I've got savings. I'd give you both a fair price. Even so, there are all sorts of practical problems. Yeah, yes, there are. I mean, the hen houses, they're here. Oh, I'd move them to Brookfield. Well, would you? And your mum and dad have agreed to this? And to you using up all your savings? Well, I haven't actually spoken to them about it yet. Ah. But that was only because there didn't seem much point until I knew if you were interested. Even so. But if you are, of course I will. I can phone them now if you like. Uh, yeah, hang on, Josh. Let's uh, let's just slow things down a bit, shall we? It is very enterprising of you to have had this idea. Hmm. Seemed like an obvious solution. You want to sell, I want to buy. It's a bit more complicated than that. Yeah. You're great with the hens and very reliable. Mm. So you know you can trust me. Oh, to do that, absolutely. But there's a bit more to this business than just taking care of the hens. I know. I've thought all about that. Have you? For example, there are the deliveries. How are you going to manage those? And the marketing. That's really important. Mm. Don't you think you're um, a bit young to be taking all that on by yourself? No, I've done lots of research and I've got loads of ideas on how to get into new markets. Mm -hmm. I've brought some with me. Uh, oh. I made copies so we can all discuss them. Yeah, maybe now isn't exactly the right time. But if it would help you make up your mind... Uh, no, you can leave them with us if you like, but Hayley and I really need to have our own conversation before we take this any further. We do. You've given us a lot to think about, Josh. You are taking me seriously. Mm. Oh, yeah? No one could doubt your commitment. Yes, you've obviously given this a lot of thought, so we need to do the same. OK. So when do you think you might be able to give me an answer? I don't think it will take us too long. No, we'll get back to you in uh, a couple of days. Great. Well... Thank you for your time. <laughs> oh, You're welcome. <laughs> thanks, Josh. I'll tell Phoebe the good news. And thanks again. No, don't mention it. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I am sorry, Neil. I should be having words with Phoebe. Yeah, they are friends. It's only natural they'll talk. I just hate to disappoint him. And we're going to have to, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. He doesn't drive. How could he possibly do the deliveries? <laughs> I'm sure he's come up with something. Mm. No, no, it's still too much. What is at school, anyway? You have to give him full marks for trying. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that lad's going places. We'll have to let him down gently. Ah, we will. You've got to admire his cheek. See, I thought I was doing well, giving Dad a hand with a market garden at that age. He'd probably been asking for a share in the business. I yeah, know. I didn't even have a Saturday job. Well, Pip better watch out. Her brother's coming along fast on the inside lane. <laughs> and talking to her sisters? Yes, yes, yes. I've spoken to Brenda. Oh, good. Well, I've seen her, actually. Popped into the dower house on my way back from work. So what did you say? I told her she was welcome to come and stay with us as soon as she liked and for as long as she liked. And how did she react? Well, she took some convincing. Kept saying she didn't want to put us out. Oh, I hope you told her she wouldn't be. Of course I did. And she caved in under my relentless pressure. <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, Vicky and Dad were right. She's obviously desperate to get away. The sooner the better, then. When can we expect her? Well, she's waiting to hear from us. She realised it might take a bit of time to sort things out with the girls' rooms. Roy, I told you, it's not a problem. We can tell the girls now and sort their rooms out this evening. She would come tomorrow. Actually, I think Brenda might need a bit more time than that, you know, to get herself sorted. All right, the day after then. Ring and tell her. Now. I still don't see why you've got to go out this evening. Now pass me that big plate, will you? You know why your dad wants me to play in the darts team. Well, you could have said no. 
Can you sort out the cutlery while I do these plates? Uh, yeah. Well, Dara let him down at the last minute. I'm all he's got. I'm sure we could have found someone. You should have stood up to him. It's a bit difficult when we're living under his roof. I don't know why it bothers you so much. Well, Mum's going out. We could have had the place to ourselves. Now we'll be all on my own. Well, my mum said you might drop by. Oh, great. Emma, it's not very nice. Well, sorry, but I expect all she wants to talk about is Nick and Will's baby. Yeah, I expect she will. Have you finished doing that? Yes. Here you go. I don't know why that bothers you so much. It doesn't. It's just the way Nick was going on about it. Good luck to him, I say. <laughs> really? Well, I should have thought that Will had got enough kids already, but that's his business, isn't it? It's ours too, if it affects George. Well, why should it affect George? It's more disruption. It's bang to. But then we'll just have to make sure it doesn't. You ready, Ed? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think so. Uh, you, you don't need me anymore, do you, Em? You're going to leave me to do all these greasy pans on my own? There's only a couple. Just leave them to soak. Yeah, would you mind, love, honey? I would like us to get down to the bull a bit early so we can have a practice. No, no, you go. I'll finish up here. It's not as if I've got anything better to do. So, usual routine. Get the cars in, show them where to park, make sure no one gets lost on the way. OK. Although there are a few newbies. You make sure they don't go wandering off anywhere they shouldn't. Right. There's no need to look like a frightened rabbit. You've got your walkie-talkie if you need backup. I won't. I've I got you covered, boss. Good. Oh, yeah, one more thing. A couple of blokes let me down tonight. All right. Yeah, they won't be doing it again. <laughs> but it's left me a bit short-handed. Right. So I might need you to help clean up afterwards. Clean up? You got a problem with that? No. No, of course not. You sure? It's not a job for the squeamish. If you're going to go girly on me. Oh, come on, Des. You know me better than that. I'll, I'll do it. Of course I will. All right. I'll get to your post, then. The punters will be arriving soon. Is he all right? Yeah. Gone off like a little lamb, bless oh. him. Now, oh, it's nice of you to read that story. Oh, I bought him the book. Seemed the least I could do. <laughs> hey, you don't have to switch that off if you're watching. Oh, no, no, it's finished now, anyway. It was fun reading to him. I'd forgotten how much I enjoyed it. Oh, well, any time you feel like it. Well, oh, it's just now you're living with his other grandparents. I wouldn't want to intrude. You're always welcome, you know that. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm always ready to babysit. If Susan or Neil can't do it. Oh, thanks. Not a problem. I love spending time with George and Kira. Oh, so kind of you to bring those little presents. Well, I saw that book and I knew George would love it. <laughs> I couldn't leave Kira, no, could I? Oh. To be honest, it, it was George I was thinking about. Why? Well... I was worried the news about the new baby might upset him. Oh, I see. Do you think it will? I don't know. We'll have to see how he reacts when they tell him. He has had quite a lot to cope with on that score. Mm. First Jake and Mia coming into his life, yeah. and then Kira. <laughs> well, I know he loves her to bits now, well, but... it did take some time. I'm glad you understand, Clary. Oh, I've been thinking about it quite a lot. Will and Nick don't seem to be. Ah, I think the good news about the baby's driven everything out of their minds for the time being. Oh, well, they've known about it long enough. Well, telling people's always exciting, isn't it? I suppose. I'm sure when things calm down a bit, they'll be more sensitive to it. I hope they are when they tell him. Ah, I'm sure you don't need to worry. I hope not. He'll always be your firstborn, and that must make him special. To you and William, being the eldest yourselves. Oh, yeah, I suppose it does. Mm. I've never thought about it like that before. And our first grandchild, of course. And your mum and dad. <laughs> we were so excited. Yeah, yeah, I remember. No one can ever take that away from him. No. And Kira, our first granddaughter. That certainly meant a lot to mum. <laughs> Oh, me too. Of course, I'm very excited about the new baby, but it won't be a first. That's always special. Yeah. And that will be our reason to make a bit of extra fuss of him. Or her. 
Oh, so they don't feel left out? Yeah. I'm sure Edward would agree with that. <laughs> yeah, I think he probably would. <laughs> So we need a double top to win. Yep. Oh, come on, Mike. You can do it. Yes! Oh, we won, Neil. We won! Yes, we did. That is a turn up for the book. So this is where you're riding yourself. Uh, yeah, we uh, we don't want to leave any evidence, do we? No. Yeah, you did a good job getting rid of all the blood. Uh, all part of the service, mate. I bear that in mind. Uh, is that it then? Yeah, just get rid of these, will you? Oh, oh did did I miss a bit? Yeah, it's a messy business. That's the one drawback. I burn them rags if I was you. Yeah, yeah, I will. Then you can get off home. Uh, thanks. Yeah. See you next week. Yeah, of course. Oh, oh, God. <laughs> when they heard we'd lost Chris, they must have thought they had it in the bag. <laughs> Good old Mike. Yeah, he was so cool. Oh, yeah. I knew he wouldn't lose his nerve, but everyone helped. Yeah, yeah, it was a real team effort. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, should we cross over? The path's a bit muddy. Yeah, yeah right. We'd be happy to have you on the team, you know. Ed. Watch out! <laughs> Maniacs! We could have been killed! You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for giving me that shove. <laughs> what are they doing driving through the village at that speed? Hey. They must have seen us. Hey, it looks like someone wasn't so lucky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You all right, mate? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Daryl? Oh, all right, Neil. Yeah. You sure you're okay? You don't look it. I'm, I'm just a bit out of breath. I had to die for it. You're as white as a sheet. Did you know those men? Me? No. Uh, the town is out joyriding. Yeah. Yeah, I bet that's right. Anyway, um, thanks for coming over to check on me. Uh, but I'm fine now, so... Uh, uh, look, I'll stay with you for a bit till you get your breath back. Uh, there's no need, really. Uh, yes, there is. You had a shock. Uh, you get off, though, Ed. Emma will be wondering what's happened to you. You sure? Mm. Right, well, uh, well, you take your time, mate. Uh, good night, then. Good night. Good. And thanks. Hey, um, you really didn't have to stay, Neil. Well, I want to be sure that lot don't come back. You did know them, didn't you? No. Darrell, I saw them swerve towards you. Well, it, was, it was just their idea of a joke. <laughs> Some joke. Were they the blokes you've been with tonight? Maybe. <sighs> Neil. Do you want to tell me about it? It's a long story. Well, we can go back to my place. I, I don't want anyone else knowing. No, that's all right. We can chat in the shed. I'll put the kettle on, make you some coffee. Uh, it might keep me awake. Uh, it might sober you up. Well, we had to celebrate, didn't we? Yeah. I'm glad you had a good evening. I did. How did yours go? Fine. Oh, your mum came round. Oh, well, I told you she might. Yeah, we had a really good conversation about George and Kira and Will and Nick's baby. Did that help? Yeah, yeah, it did. I feel much better about it now. Good, good. Oh, she's so lovely, your mum. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you shouldn't let those two get to you. Oh, I know. <sighs> Nothing to worry about. Exactly. Except where Dad's got to. Oh, you know, Neil. Probably walked Daryl home. He did seem in a bit of a state. The thing is, well, I've got involved with helping an old... Well, I wouldn't call him a friend, a, a contact with some illegal gambling. Oh, that doesn't sound like a very good idea. I thought I could handle it, but I got in deeper than I meant to and... Oh, and you don't know how to get out of it. Yeah, that's about it. What kind of help were you giving this bloke, exactly? 
to start with, he, he just needed a farm out building for a venue. Oh, and you pointed out a good one. A bit more than that. Where are we talking about? Home farm. There's a barn the other side of Leader's Wood. Oh, I shouldn't have thought they'd have much luck breaking in there. Brian's security is very <sighs> they good. They didn't have to break in. Hmm? I nicked the keys and I got them copied. What? Oh, Daryl. Look, you don't know this guy. He, he put me under all sorts of pressure. Yeah, but even so. We're desperate for money. I've got no work. He'll own us out of hours cut. Yeah, it's... I know, I know. And that was it, getting him the keys. Well, I thought it was. And then he wanted to use me as a kind of gatekeeper. How do you mean? Ushering the cars in, show them where to park, point the punters in the right direction. Well, it's quite a big operation, then. Oh, yeah. You'd be surprised. I am already. I've got a walkie-talkie to call if there's ever any trouble, but I was still trying to kid myself I was just a glorified car park attendant. Mm. Until tonight. And what happened? Um, What are they doing in there? I wasn't sure. No. No, that's not true. Mm. I saw pit bulls in the cages in the back of some of the cars. I just didn't want to think about it. Dog fighting? Yeah. What I saw tonight... Neil... Made you sure, huh? Yeah. Des asked me to clear up and... and Go on. Just badly wounded dogs and and blood all over the place. I had to mop it up. It makes me sick just to think about it. You and me both. We had a stuffy when I was growing up. She was the sweetest tempered dog I ever knew. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The thought of her being involved in something like lying there in her own blood, I don't want to have any more to do with it. No, I should hope not. But I don't see how I can get out of it now. I'm in too deep now. Oh, there must be a way. What? Des is a seriously nasty piece of work. Them cars tonight, maybe they was a warning. All the more reason. I I can't go back, but I can't stay away either. What am I going to do? Sorry, I forgot my phone. Oh. I didn't expect you back after milking. I forgot my phone. Yeah, you said. I was just getting things ready. So I see. Roy's going to pick me up after work and take me back to Willow Farm. Right. So all of this will be out your way by the time you get back. I'll just have an empty house. Don't say that. I'm not doing this lightly. That doesn't really make it any better, Brent. Tom, please. Don't worry. I'll get out of your way. Just find my phone and leave you in peace. I rang your mum. Why? You said you didn't understand. I wanted to explain. Oh, yeah. So I'm coming to see her at lunchtime, just in case you wanted to... Make myself scarce. (sighs) Whatever you want. What I want is... Oh, never mind. Mum will be pleased to see you. Morning, Josh. Hard at work as usual. Oh, Neil. Good. Hayley said you might come round this morning. Yeah, here I am. I kept asking her if you made a decision, but she said you wanted to tell me yourself. Yeah, that's right. So? I'm sorry, Josh. I'm afraid the answer has to be no. No? Really? Yeah, I'm afraid so. We were very impressed by you wanting to take it on, and all the ideas you had. Then why aren't you going to let me? Well... It's just too much for you at this stage of your life. You're still at school. I'm at school now and I manage. Yeah, well, you know how much more work there would be if you were actually running all this? I'd find the time. Yes, I'm sure you would, but we don't think that you should. You've got exams coming up next year, haven't you? Oh, exams. Well, they're important, Josh. My schoolwork hasn't suffered so far. <laughs> Why take the risk? There's no rush. There is if you're thinking of selling the business. Well, <laughs> look, Hayley and I have been talking about that. We might be able to hold off for a couple of years. A couple of years? Then, if you were still interested, we could consider your offer again. But that's ages. I've got so many ideas for the business. I want to start trying them out now. Well, you know, Hayley and I would be happy to listen to them. I want to do them myself. Oh, I understand, Josh. And it's great you're so ambitious. Well, then. But the time's just not right now. Oh, Neil. It will be soon. Not soon enough. 
I'm not going to give up, Neil. No, I didn't imagine you would. Hey, Pip, hang on a minute, can you? What is it, Dad? I'm late already. Well, this won't take long. Um, I need to look through the lambs tomorrow. I wonder if you could give me a hand. Uh, oh, I'm not sure. I've left my diary at uni. Look, I've got to go, but I'll give you a call later. Well, don't forget. I need to know in case... Oh, I don't know why I bother. Where's Pip going in such a hurry? She nearly ran me down. She's going to uni. Pip rushing to get to uni. That's a first. Well, never mind about Pip. What are you doing here? Why aren't you on the school bus? No, I missed it. Well, I guess that. Why? I was collecting the eggs and didn't notice the time. Oh, Josh, really? Look, we're pleased you found this little job. It's not a little job. But if it's going to start interfering with you getting to school... It doesn't. It has this morning. Why does everyone have to keep banging on about school all the time? Because your education is very important. Well, you better give me a lift then, so I don't miss any more of it. I won't if you ask me like that. What am I supposed to do then? What? Well, it's not my fault you're late. If you want me to do you a favour... Oh, you don't can... bother. I'll ask Mum. She won't make such a big deal out of it. More coffee, love? No, I'm all right, thank you. You had any responses to the pitches you made about your ready meals? Yeah, quite a few. Oh, that's good. I know you put a lot of work into contacting the retailers individually. Yeah. Good spread? Uh, yeah. Food halls and department stores, delis, plenty of farm shops. Oh, that really is good news. Yeah. You do deserve it. You worked so hard. It did seem important once. I can't think why now. Oh, Tom, you mustn't think like that. Brenda's moving out today. So, when I get home tonight... Oh, love. Look, if you want to come and stay here, just, just for a few days... Oh, thanks, Mum, but... I've got to face being on my own sometime. I might as well start now. I'm glad to see you, Neil. I was worried you weren't coming. Oh, I needed to talk to someone first. Who? The local police community officer. What? Oh, I thought I could trust you and now you've gone and shot me. Oh, of course I haven't. I didn't mention any names. Oh, that's a relief. For a minute there. No, it was all quite informal. I know him because of me being chair of the parish council. Nice chap. If you say so. And? Well, I just said I'd heard rumours that there were dog fights going on locally. OK. Like I said, mentioning no names. And what did he say? Well, the police have heard rumours too. They're liaising with the RSPCA about it. You what? Mm. Oh, no, Des, I think I've said something. This is terrible. Why? Now you know the police are suspicious. It's even more reason for you to get out. I don't know. Well, it won't be long before the fights are discovered. It's much more sensible for you to go to the police first. And tell them what you know. That's easy for you to say. From what you've said, these are seriously dangerous people. Oh, you're not wrong there. Well, it's going to take the police to shut them down. If you go and tell them what you know... Yeah, they'll arrest me. I provided access to the venue. I've been helping run events. They'll think I'm as guilty as this. Not if you cooperate with them. I've got a police record, Neil. That's not how it works. Well, I think you're wrong. Yeah, I can't take that chance. If I go back to prison, Ilona will leave me. And, and if she did... Look, I, I just can't do it. All right, all right, all right. How about this, then? Suppose you do agree to help with the next dogfight. Yeah. And then after everyone's inside, you scarper and then tip off the police. You won't be there and Des and his mates will be arrested. Yeah, and if Des thought I'd grasped him up, that'd be worse than prison. Well, why would he? Who's going to tell him? If the police catch him red-handed, that's the evidence they need. I suppose that might work. Yes, of course it would. And to be frank, Darrell, I don't see what other options you've got left. No. You might be right. You let the police know when the next fight is going to be. Yeah, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Well, it's supposed to be this Sunday. Well, then... Yeah, but it isn't usually confirmed until the last minute. Well, that's, that's fine. Uh, look, um, you tell me as soon as you know, and, and I'll tip the police off. Well, how will you say you know? Um, more rumours. I saw something suspicious. Uh, I'm not going to say you told me.
Hi, Dad. All right, Pip. So, what's the verdict? Oh, I'm really sorry, Dad, but I'm afraid I won't be able to help you. Oh, Pip, why not? I mean, if you've got a tutorial, I understand. Uh, no, uh, no, it's not that. You know I've got my placement interview coming up. Yeah, but that's not till next week, is it? No, but that's sort of the point. I need to do some preparation. <sighs> yeah, well, I'm sure you do, but does it have to be tomorrow? Afraid so. It's. I want to do some research in the university library, and that's the only day I'll be able to do it. Ah, oh, right. It's a big estate. They wouldn't just want me for the sheep. No, no, of course not. I don't really even know that much about farming in Yorkshire. No. And I know how disappointed you and Mum were the other interviews didn't work out. Well, maybe if you hadn't left it so late. I know, and this could be my last chance, so that's why I need to try and give it my best shot. Yeah. Yeah, of course you do. I am sorry about the lambs, but... No, don't worry, I'll manage. Thank you, Dad. I knew you'd understand. Well, thanks for ringing. That's okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Bye. Hey, Spencer. Yeah? We're on for tomorrow. <laughs> London, here we come. So Helen went out with this new man in the evening. Jonathan. Yes, he took her to a lovely restaurant. I think it was a great success. Oh, I'm really pleased for her. Yeah. It's nice that one of my children's love lives is going well. Pat, I'm so sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to snipe, it's just... I know I've hurt Tom, and I'm desperately sad about that. I'm sure you are. I just couldn't go on pretending. It wasn't fair on either of us. If that's the way you saw it. We just want such different things. Well, I know Tom can be a bit obsessive about his business, but... No, I think he understands there are more important things. He doesn't need to change the way he thinks. His enthusiasm and energy, they're great qualities. Maybe, but What he needs, what he deserves, is someone who can get as involved in it as he is. A true partner. I think he'd settle for you. It's not just the business. Tom wants children. I couldn't deprive him of that. You really think that's not for you? Yeah. It's a big thing, even these days, for a woman to say she doesn't want children. It seems hard for people to hear it. I knew you'd understand. I think I do. You've always been such a good friend to me. And a role model. Have I? Yeah. Mum was great. I loved her so much and I miss her every day. But she was very traditional. Yes, she was. Dear Betty. Dad and me and Roy, her friends, the village. That was enough for her. And there's nothing wrong with that, but... It's not what you want. Oh, I don't know what I want. But I can't follow that path. That's why I've always admired you. Oh, I don't think I've wandered very far from that path. But you can see other possibilities. Maybe. And I should tell you, that's not always a blessing. I've got to try. Just wish I didn't have to hurt so many people along the way. Maybe that's inevitable. Not just Tom. Tony's always treated me like a daughter. And you've been such a good friend. That's meant a lot to me, too. I hope we don't have to lose that. I hope so, too. But it's going to take time, Brenda. To forgive me. To grieve. We all need time to mourn what might have been. Morning, Jim. Oh. Who are you in it this month? Uh, morning, Ruth. In what? Who bought such a life? Oh, I see. Yes. Uh, sorry. It must seem a little self-centred coming out of the shop with a copy under my arm. <laughs> Not at all. Of course you want to see your work. They send me a copy, of course, but uh, for once, well, I'm quite pleased with this. Good. I'm glad you're happy with it. I know you've had a few problems. With Glenn, yes. 
We have had a few run-ins. Yeah. But we seem to have reached a reasonable compromise at last. The questions in the box are quite sensible this month. Oh, yeah? Who is your favourite artist, for example? I'm afraid that might stump me. Now, the interview is with a local artist, so naturally she has one. Oh, I see. Well, I'll definitely buy a copy. Well, thank you. I'd be very interested to hear what you think of it. <laughs> so, now you and the editor are friends, can we look forward to more? Only Christine told me you were thinking of giving up. I still am. I feel I've run out of people I want to interview. Oh, that's a pity. To be honest, I'm not sorry. I'll quit while you're ahead, eh? Something like that. I'm on my way to my last interview now, actually. And who has the honour of being the subject of your final piece? Brian Aldrich. Oh, how interesting. You won't be short of material. I don't imagine I shall. Anyway, I better be getting on. They want to keep the Lord of the Manor waiting. <laughs> no, good luck. I'm sure this will be your best piece. I hope so. It'd be nice to go out with a bang. You've chosen the right subject, then. I rather thought that myself. <laughs> well, look, I won't keep you. I need to get on, too. We're a bit short-handed on the farm today. There you are. That's your lot. Hi, Tom. Oh, hi, Helen. Hello, Henry and Rowan. Have you come to see the pigs? Yes. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a lovely morning, we fancied a walk. You can go a bit closer if you like. They're too busy eating to mind. <laughs> yeah, be careful with them, though. I hope we're not disturbing you. No, I'd finished feeding them. I didn't expect to see you. Where's Jazza? Morning off. Dentist or something. Oh, it's a bit inconvenient. I don't mind. But Mum told me about the success you'd had with your ready meal pitches. Yeah? What's that got to do with Jazza having the morning off? Well, shouldn't you be following them up? I'm not really in the mood. Well, that's not like you. Exactly. They all had the enthusiastic, energetic Tom Archer before. If I ring up now, they're going to wonder where he's gone. Oh, I see. I'm better off doing something straightforward like this. The pigs don't care what mood I'm in. I understand how hard things must be for you at the moment, Tom. Thank you. You can't put off ringing them for too long. I can't think about it at the moment. You were always the one saying you had to strike while the iron's hot. I know, but... Well, isn't that the whole point of selling the cows? To free you to do exactly this kind of thing? I've mustered up as much enthusiasm as I can for one day. Who? Oh? Bellingham's rang me. Bellingham's? <laughs> That's exciting. Well, they're quite a small group. Small but classy. They want to meet me and discuss trialling the product in a couple of dozen stores. Oh, that's great, Tom. They're based down south, aren't they? Yeah. They trial them in London and the southeast. <laughs> Your first breakthrough outside the Midlands. That's really fantastic. I suppose it is. So, when are you going down to meet them? I don't know. I said I'd ring them back. Ring them back? <laughs> I thought you'd have dropped everything. It's such a good offer. It is, yeah, but if they meet me now, they might withdraw it. Oh, Tom, don't be silly. I'm serious, Helen. I'm just... I'm not up to it at the moment. It's going to be a hard pitch in the current climate. I'll need to be on top of my game, and I'm not sure I'm thinking clearly enough. You really need to get your act together, Tom. Oh, Brenda's gone. I'm not sure I've got an act. Oh, that's just ridiculous. It isn't. Brenda did so much work with me. Marketing and testing the ready meals. It seems like one more thing I've got to do without her. You're going to have to start getting used to that. She only moved out yesterday, Helen. Can't you cut me some slack? No, I can't. I know how hard it is and I feel for you. Oh, sounds like it. I do. I know what it's like to lose someone you love. Yeah, of course you do. Sorry. It's impossible even to put one foot in front of the other. How everything seems pointless. But I wanted to give up too. Well, but then... you can't. If you lose this opportunity, what's it all been for? Oh, I don't know. I know I sound harsh. But surely you don't want to give up something you've worked so hard to achieve. I don't know what I want anymore. I know you. I know you can be brave and strong and stay focused. You'll get through this. Will I? Not much wrong with her. Nope. Oh, off you go. You all seem to be doing well, don't you think? Yeah, I do. But uh, 
It'll be a few weeks before the first of them are ready for the butcher. Yeah, I'd say that was about right. Anyway, I think we've seen them all. Uh, Thanks for your help. That's all right. Better than being stuck in the office. Uh, oh, even so. Should have been Pip. Oh, David. You know she couldn't do it today. Yeah, but sheep are supposed to be her speciality. And with prices the way they are at the moment, we need to make the best of them. That's why she's so keen on this placement. Pick up ideas from a big producer. I oh, know. Plus the arable and the larger scale of it. It'd be great if she could get it. Well, she'll be lucky to, the way she's been neglecting her university work recently. She's trying to make up for that. Look at today. She got off really early. Yeah, I know. She must have been the first one through those library doors. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe she is coming to her senses at last. Let's hope so. Oh, it's Pip. Hi. How's it going? I hope you're OK with us doing the interview in the kitchen. Of course, wherever you feel most comfortable. Uh, but have a seat, Jim. Oh. Jenny's out, so we won't be disturbed. And there are less likely to be phone calls than in the office. Perfect. I prefer a more informal setting myself. Oh, trying to lure me into a false sense of security? Of course not. But I do like to give my readers a sense of the person behind the public facade. Oh, it will be a short article, then. I'm sure that isn't true. I'm afraid it is. I'm really not that deep. What you see is what you get. You'll have to let me be the judge of that. <laughs> uh, so, do you, need, do you need to plug in a recorder or anything? No, no, I'm old-fashioned. I'm happy to rely on my notes. Old ways are the best, eh? If it was good enough for Tacitus. Anyway, I feel it makes for a more relaxed atmosphere. Mm -hmm. We're not in a police station, are we? Not yet. You don't know what I'm going to tell you, though. <laughs> <laughs> now, how long have you to spare? I don't want you to feel pressed for time. That's very considerate of you. I know what a busy man you are. Fingers in so many pies. Oh, I don't know about that. Don't be so modest. Running this huge farm would be enough for most men. You would like I hardly do it single-handed. But then there are all your other interests. Borchester land, the new dairy project, your enterprises in Hungary. Yeah, I like to keep busy. And yet you still find time to take a much-appreciated interest in village affairs. Now, come on, Jim, come on. Stop buttering me up. You're making me sound like the Squire of Ambridge. That's great, Pip. Keep up the good work. Bye. Well, it didn't take her long to abandon her books... Don't be mean. She'd only popped out for a coffee. <laughs> so she says. Don't be so suspicious. All right. As long as she's not planning an early lunch. She's planning to stay in the library until it closes, and that's not till ten o'clock, apparently. And then she's going clubbing. <laughs> no, she said she'd come straight home. She's obviously taking this interview very seriously. Oh, not before time. The important thing is she's making the effort. Well, maybe that phone call from the head of agriculture was the wake-up call she needed. I think it was. Good. So, now we've got Pip back on track, all we need is to find out what's making Josh so grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> Trouble with a lot of people is they simply don't have vision. Well, I'm sure that's true. They seem to be incapable of seeing the big picture. Indeed. Well, that's what you have to focus on. I like to think it's the keystone of all my work. I imagine that hasn't always made you popular. Huh. People could be so small-minded. I don't mind not being popular. I'd rather be right. And you usually are. Well, I don't know about that. There's that modesty again. Well, let's put it like this. People usually come round to my way of thinking in the end. I'm sure they do. What would be a good example of that, do you think? Uh, well, take the new market, for instance. Ah, yes. Had a few teething problems, didn't it? Yeah, but that's only to be expected with a big project. I don't know why people can't grasp that. There was a certain amount of opposition. Yeah, but that's my point. There was. But everyone loves it now. They can't remember what all the fuss was about. Uh, not quite everyone. Huh? My friend Joe still mourns the bacon butties at the old market cafe. Yes, well, moaning is your friend Joe Grundy's favourite hobby. As according to him, things were always better in the old days, which simply isn't true. Well, they were for him when he had his own farm. As a tenant. Oh, yes. Of Borchester land, is that right? Oh, yes, yes. I'm afraid we were the wicked landlords who turfed him out. And it wasn't quite like that? Well, it wasn't personal. 
Those small tenant farms were never going to be sustainable in the long run, whoever was running them. Just victims of history. Well, that's more your area of expertise than mine, Jim. Touché. <laughs> you know, I'm really enjoying this. Much more fun than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I couldn't agree with you more. Now, the big dairy. Would you say that was another example of your vision? That's right, Henry. You put the styes there, and then we can put the pigs in there. And then we'll see if we can find something to feed them, like Uncle Tom was doing. <laughs> oh, look, here is Uncle Tom. You can ask his advice. What's it about? Well, Henry and Roman have just decided to become pig farmers. Oh, I wouldn't bother. Too much hard work. <laughs> Ready meals. <sighs> That's a bit better. Uh, yeah, that might be a bit sophisticated for them. <laughs> I rang Bellingham's back. Oh, Tom, good for you. I thought you'd be pleased. And? I'm going down to see them in a couple of weeks' time. <gasps> That's brilliant. Well done. I should have done it in the first place, like you said. No, no. I felt really bad after we left you. I was, I was much too tough on you. It was what I needed. I knew you could do it. If it makes you feel better about yourself, then... <laughs> I don't know about that. But you're right. I've got to try, however hard it is. Oh. Daryl? Can you talk? Are you on your own? Yeah, I'm in the shed. What's the matter? There's been a change of plan. The dogfight isn't on Sunday, it's tonight. Oh. Oh, uh, why? Oh, I don't know. All I know is Des rang and he, he wants me at home farm in 20 minutes. The punters will be arriving soon. Oh, I see. What am I going to do? If I don't show up and we go ahead with ringing the police, Des will smell a rat. Yeah, yeah I suppose he might. For definite he will. He'll know it was me that shopped him. Maybe. Look, I, I can't have that, Neil. When I think of what he might do to me, to Ilona and the girls, I, I can't risk it. Daryl, Daryl, calm down, will you? Let's just think this through. There's nothing to think about. I'm not ready. We can't do it. But you said you couldn't carry on like this. Yeah, I know, but You it's want just... this stopped. We'd just be putting off the evil hour. Sounds like a good plan at the moment. Well, I don't think so. In fact, it might work out better if we do do it tonight. How'd you work that out? Well, Des is not going to suspect you if it's all last minute and he's seen you there, is he? I mean, why would you put yourself in danger? I can't be there when the police come. You won't be. We'll stick to the plan. You make sure everyone's inside, as usual, yeah. and then get out as fast as you can. Ditch anything that might prove you were involved. Uh, and you'll ring the police? Yeah, as soon as you give me the all clear, I'll do that. Right. As long as you get away as quickly as you can, the police aren't going to hang about. Don't worry. You won't see me for dust. But where will you be? Um, I can say I've been walking in the woods. Yeah, don't come too close. No, no, I won't come anywhere near the venue. Good. I don't want Des getting suspicious. Well, you'd better get up there yourself then, haven't you? Mm. That's nice. Yeah, unexpected pleasure. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad you were able to get here at such short notice. I'm glad I was free. I didn't know that Matt had this business dinner, but I didn't realise he and his mates were planning to make a night of it until today. Well, they're not the only ones. Mm. He's not back till the small hours, you said. Is that right? Mm. Matt's determined to show them everything Felpersham has to offer. And it'll take that long. Be surprised. <laughs> I would be. Mm. <laughs> Uh, it seems a bit silly for him to come back at all, then. Might as well book into the same hotel as his friends. Yeah, well, that would have been a good idea if he'd thought of it first. Why well, didn't you suggest it to him? What, now? Yeah. Give him a ring. Well, don't you think it's a bit odd? No. Yeah. You think you're a loving and considerate partner. Well, that will make him suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously, Lillian. Think how wonderful it would be for us to wake up together here for once. Oh, would be nice. An opportunity like this might not come again. Go on, ring him. Hi, Daryl. How's it looking? It's okay. 
Where are you? Oh, don't worry. Nowhere near you. Just down by the road. Good. Well, the coast's clear. Everyone's in now. All right. Well, you get going then, and I'll call the police, OK? OK? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose so. Well, don't worry. It'll be fine. Now, get out of there. All right, will do. <sighs> Emergency services, which service do you require? Uh, police, please. And can you tell me your name and your location, please, sir? Uh, Neil Carter. I'm in Ambridge, Borsetshire. Thank you. Putting you through. Borsetshire Police. Mr Carter, is it? Yeah, that's right. And how can I help you, sir? Well... I was walking in the woods near a, a local farm, home farm in Ambridge, and I noticed some unusual activity in some of their outbuildings. Unusual in what way? Well, cars coming and going, and I could hear dogs barking aggressively and growling and, well, all sorts. And you're sure they're not just the farm dogs, sir? Oh, no, I know they're not. I know the farm dogs. The people who own the farm are friends of mine. Have you contacted them at all? Well, I thought I should ring you first. I, I think there might be a dog fight going on there. There have been rumours locally. Uh, I, I talked to our community officer about it this week, and I imagine that he logged it. Oh, I see. Well, that's helpful. Thank you for reporting this, sir. Uh, the community police officer said that you and the RSPCA had suspicions yourself. We'll send someone up to investigate. Oh, good. Uh, um, uh, one of my neighbours has gone up to check it out for himself. I'm a bit worried for his safety. Well, it might be a good idea if you contact him and tell him to leave. Oh, yeah. We certainly wouldn't advise you to approach the site yourself. Where are you now? Oh, uh, I'm on the road nearby at the back of the farm. There's a track to the barn off the Edgeley Road. OK, Stay there till we come, and then you can show us where to go. Ah, yeah, yeah, of course. We'll be on our way straight to you, and we'll let the RSPCA know as well. Oh, right, I'll be here. <sighs> Daryl, what's the matter? Oh, thank God. I've been trying you for ages. Well, has something gone wrong? I can't do this. I I've changed my mind. Don't ring the police. Oh, I'm sorry, mate. I've already done it. They're on the way. <sighs> No, what am I going to do? No, keep calm. I told them a neighbour of mine is up there, so even if you are still there when they arrive, they won't suspect you. No, but there's Will. Oh, God. Get out of there, Daryl. Go! All right, Matt. You have a good time. <sighs> he didn't buy it, then? No. Well, it was a bit of a long shot. Oh, that man. He does nothing but cause trouble, doesn't he? <laughs> Not trouble, exactly. Why couldn't he just go along with it? He still won't be back to the early hours. Don't let this spoil the time we have got. No, of course not. That's the important thing, isn't it? That's the most important thing. <sighs> I do make you happy, don't I? <sighs> you know you do. What? Tell me. It's hard for me to be happy when I see how unhappy Matt makes you. <laughs> well, not all the time. Well, it's sweet the way you put such a brave face on it, but... <laughs> I don't know about that. I do. I saw you when he was in prison, remember? He hurt you so much. And you were a great comfort to me. I was glad to be there to pick up the pieces. Oh, Paul. Let's not dwell on the bad times, shall we? Yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to bring back memories. Tell you what. Why don't you go and have a nice, long, relaxing bath, eh? While I fix us something to eat. Mm, I must say, a good soak does sound very appealing. Hmm. <laughs> Off you go, then. Take the radio with you. Be really decadent. A <laughs> good idea. <laughs> you try and relax too, huh? I will. Cooking's calming.
Celia, at last. I wonder when you're going to have a courtesy to answer my calls. Well, believe me, it's the last time. Only the children told me they'd rung you. <laughs> like you didn't know. I didn't. <laughs> really? It was just a coincidence, was it? First I had Charlie on the phone to me, then Grace. Weren't you pleased? You're always complaining they don't contact you enough. Depends what they're saying. How dare you turn my own children against me? I don't think you need any help with that. You didn't put them up to it? When they ring up one after the other saying exactly the same thing? Give them a script, didn't you? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Right, so it was their idea, was it? Asking me to leave them alone. Entirely. Don't tell me you're surprised. I'm surprised you stooped so low poisoning their minds against me. If you're talking about the wedding... Of course I'm talking about the wedding. Paul, I'm just going to say this one more time. Charlie and Grace want to come to my wedding. Yeah, well, and... so you say, but... So they say! They want to come and they are coming and that's that! Oh. <sighs> Neil! Over here. Darren, what are you still doing here? I thought I'd wait until... Oh, blimey. It's all right. It's all right. I'll handle this. Over here, officer. Over here. Sorry, Mr. Carter. I lost sight of you in the dark for a well, moment. This is the neighbour I was telling you about. Right. Well, thank you for your help, sir. That's OK. Sounds like there's a lot going on in there. Yes, my friend saw quite a few dogs arrive and, and lots of cars. Yeah. yeah. Here's the RSPCA. If I could ask you both to move to a safe distance... We'll be going in first. Yes, of course, officer. Hey, do you think he suspected me? They've got more important things to worry about than you. Oh, I hope so. And he told us to go, so we better get... Are you there? What the hell is that? I told you to get rid of it. I forgot. Is everything OK? Someone thought they had cars pulling up. What am I going to do? Nothing. Don't answer him. Darryl, talk to me. Something's up. we better get out of here. They're going in. Police! Stay where you are! One for it! Perfect timing. How was your bath? It was wonderful. Just what I needed. Yeah. Well, as you can see, I've been busy. <laughs> oh, Paul! That looks lovely! What a feast! <laughs> I wanted to make up for our disappointment earlier. Oh, can't we forget about that? I did try. I wasn't blaming you. Actually... In a way, it was a good thing. Made you want to make the most of the time we do have? <laughs> well, this meal's only thing to go by. No, 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 not just this meal. I think we both deserve a real treat. <laughs> You're always giving me treats. You spoil me. No, no, this is really special. Something quite out of the ordinary. Came to me while you were having your bath. Ooh, how intriguing. What did you have in mind? <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> that was for the surprise. <laughs> oh, a surprise too. How mysterious. Yeah, but don't worry, it's for next week. Then you'll love this. I know you will. We need to get out of this. No, I've got to make sure they've got their... Leave it! You shouldn't be here. It's OK. I've seen him. Where? He's over there. Running towards that pickup. See, he's going to get away. He can't. The police are blocking all the exits. Oh, you think a few police cars are going to stop him? Hmm? He'll just drive straight at him. Eh? Just watch him. What the... What? I, th I think he saw me. For God's sake. Uh, maybe not. He's in the pickup now. Who are you? Stop! Stop! I'm off. Get his number. Get his number. Careful, sir. He's got a... Oh! Oh! Mr Carter. Are you all right? Mr. Carter! <laughs>